not to imply that it wasn't there before, but I get a real sense of finding your backbone in this reading. You're feeling very stable within yourself and I would say cultivating a harmonious state of being to bring forth whatever it is you seek in life. I do feel like you have some obstacles to dodge here. It's almost in a playful way though. It's sort of like people, places, things, habits, sort of maybe trying to redirect you or pull you backwards in some way. However, there, there does seem to be harmonious relationships and communications here, but I feel like their hand is sort of revealed through their actions or their response to something or their response to your behavior or mm, something like that. It, it's sort of like a mask falls off and they're trying to pick it up really quick. I feel like you're able to look past the superficial um, and you have a very clear sight of what's ahead of you. You know, I, I think that you're not letting certain things burden you the way they once did. You know, though, and what I think you also might be finding is that the company of others or engaging in certain things or whatever it kind of is. Maybe it's something that used to bring a sense of enjoyment or pleasure or, or something like that. Now it's just kind of fucking making you anxious. Now it's sort of like, I don't know if this belongs here anymore. You have a celebration and wish fulfillment on your mind. So I do feel like you have specific goals or some sort of achievement you're trying to reach or collaboration because again I, I do get harmony here maybe it just comes from unexpected places though you'll find yourself more in alignment with people who have a similar vision or a similar way of ha handling things you know um i get a true sense of clarity here and even if you're maybe faced with disappointment or like disappointing scenarios or or someone's actions are disappointing it, it just doesn't really seem to affect you in, in the same way it's almost like okay thank you for revealing that to me I'm gonna proceed onward now kind of thing there's sort of a sense of neutrality here in a lot of ways. <clears throat> Let me pull an advice spread. Before I move on to the second spread, I do want to take a moment to promote my Patreon. That is where all of the extended versions of these readings go, as well as other exclusive content, um, monthly art prints, and so on. And it's a great way to support me as an independent artist and creative. That being said, if you want to work with me on a personal level, I do have a sale on all personal readings throughout October. And moving past October, my personal readings may be a little bit more um, limited. So it is a great time to book one if you're interested in that.
your advice is to sort of turn your back on things even though it may be sort of difficult or maybe a specific situation or person even though maybe it's difficult it kind of suggests retracting a bit from the world if i'm being honest because there's something here that's of great importance or great value it could just be putting your focus in a specific direction because i don't mean to imply that it suggests to completely cut away. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, it actually could be talking about letting go of something very painful that you've been holding on to and embracing this death, whatever it may be. You know, it, because especially starting off here in the advice spread being the five of swords, I mean, that would suggest to take on a somewhat harsh energy in a lot of ways. Maybe not harsh, but it ensures your well-being. It, it ensures your success. It's kind of like, if it's gonna be you or me, it's not gonna be me. You know what I'm saying? Um, fighting for what is rightfully yours, especially with this sort of sense of clarity dawning on you in some kind of way. It seems to bring a great level of momentum or inspiration. It could even be in a new direction, particularly if you've been holding on to something that really isn't working for you um, anymore. It, it's, it's not a good fit anymore. Clarify this. It's almost like a screening process for potential in a lot of ways. I just feel like you're a lot more protective over yourself maybe, but not in a like toxic or problematic way. It, it's kind of just really assess where you're putting your time, energy and resources because it can really be easy to squander those things on the wrong people or the wrong direction or whatever. It's kind of encouraging you not to set yourself back anymore. It's better to be a bit patient. It's better to take a more conservative approach to who you like welcome into your life. Basically. And there's something that you're maybe working towards um, or working very hard at or something that could go unexpectedly well for you. Um, maybe not unexpectedly, but it, there, it, uh, there does seem to be some level of unpredictability or chance to it. Not luck because there is labor here, but it's like you find the right formula or the right alignment or the right people especially people because you could take on a new relationship or new relationships in some kind of way um, that are very very much in alignment with you and what you're you're trying to do so i'm going to take this over to the extended on my patreon if you guys want to join us over there amazing if not i do appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time